I don't know when that would time in the presence of God. Yes! Hello everyone. And how are you? How's your week been? I'm good. I, I feel happy. And happy new month to you. This is the month of July. And we're in the second half of the month. So we're going to be having another birthday. You know, cake and everything. Drinks again in this month. And hope you all of you stay staying safe. I'm doing that yet. Yeah, I'm doing that yet. So you do you have to do that. And I want you to be known and to be sure that very soon we are going to be able to gather again. You know, we are going to be able to hug each other and get to kiss each other again. I'm just so so high today. I'm high, you're high with the Holy Spirit. Because it's another wonderful time in the presence of God. I love to be in church and I'm sure everyone will love to be in church too. So today, we're still going to, you know, have another great time. We're going to enjoy the presence of God. The presence of the Holy Spirit is going to be here with us. And we are happy. We are going to be treating a wonderful topic today. You know, this class, this lesson is going to change your life. This is something that I have listened to and this is something that really connects to me. So if it can connect to me, I'm sure it can connect to you too. Because I am blessed already, even before the lesson. I'm blessed. I need to bless. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody put your hands together. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. I love you, love you, praises. And again, welcome. So now, I want you to sit. I want you to get your pen and I want you to get your daughter because we will soon watch the class, the lesson for today. And you need to pay attention, you need to focus. And because by doing that, you will be able to receive your blessing. Because this lesson is like a seed. And you know, when the seed is planted, you need to clear the, you need to clear the Farm before you plant the seed, you need to clear the ground, you know, make ridges, and after you plant it, you're going to water it. So that is what I want you to do. I want because by clearing the farm, by clearing the ground, it's like you're taking all the distractions away. So I want you to do away with all the distractions, anything that might distract you, because this lesson is really, really important. It's crucial. So I want you to take away any distraction, you away with any distraction and focus. Take your pen, take your Bible and your journal because you need to jot something down. Because by doing that, you'll be able, you know, to uh, to, to to reveal, to recap what you meant. So do that. And right now, let's just bow down our head and close our eyes and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for your presence. We thank you for your glory. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your great compassion. But Abba, we thank you for everything that you have done for us. The book of Sammy said that, Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. So Lord, we thank you this hour. But Abba, we thank you once again because we forget not all the benefits that you have done for us. Lord, we glorify your holy name. But Abba, we thank you for the forgiveness of our sins. Lord, as we're going into this class, as you're going into this lesson, Father Lord, we ask for your wisdom, we ask for your understanding, we ask for your, for, 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 for your knowledge to be with us, we ask you to instill your knowledge in us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we just don't want to, we just don't want to listen, we just don't, we, we, we just don't want to watch this lesson in faith, but we want it to be a seed that we germinate, that we grow to be a, that we grow to, 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 to be a fruit and we'll be able to influence people around us at the end of this class in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. We glorify your holiness. And by the end of this class, we will have cause to bless you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. So, I want you to sit tight and remember, you need to be focused. And the blessing, we're starting one, two, three, four, five. So, see you after the lesson. So, 
Yes? Did you say something? <laughs> no. You said, so? Oh, right. I did. So it's awfully quiet around here with everyone else on vacation. Sure is. It's, it's nice. terrible. I mean, <laughs> it's... It's... I'm used to more... Talking. Walls are pretty crazy, huh? I mean, you'd think they'd fall over, but they just keep standing up. Um... Yeah, I guess I never really thought about it. My name backwards is Todd. Your name backwards is Yar. Mm-hmm. It's real interesting. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live, live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. Hi, I'm Dot, and this is the time I try to bring the outdoors in. If you want to make a friendship stronger, find out more about that person. Laughter can be a good clue as to what that person enjoys. Hey Dot, look what I found in the lounge. Poor Mike and Luke are going to be so sad when they realize they can't have their s'mores. I mean, that's the whole point of camping, right? Camping, huh? Yeah, they went camping together on their day off. I bet they're having tons of fun. Yeah, camping is fun, isn't it? Sure. A lot of people really enjoy it. Yeah, they do, don't they? <laughs> sure. For some people, it can be a great bonding experience. I know a ton of people that have fond memories of camping. Bonding? Memories? Yes! Okay, I'm going to go put these back in the lounge where I found them. Oh, hey, Dot. Perfect timing. We just got a message from our field office in Columbia. What are those for? Oh, these old things? Um, you know, always be prepared. <laughs> okay. Let's see what this message says. Hola, Connect HQ. This is Catalina from the Connect Field office in Cartagena, Colombia. I have Mariana with me today, and she needs our help. I'll translate. Hola, CD Connect. En la iglesia aprendimos a elegir seguir a Jesús. He decidido que quiero seguir a Jesús. Pero ¿y ahora qué? ¿Qué hago ahora? Hi Connect HQ. At church we learn about choosing to follow Jesus. I've decided I want to follow Jesus, but now what? Cuando estoy en la iglesia me siento muy cerca a Dios, pero después, más tarde en la semana, ese sentimiento se puede desvanecer. ¿Cómo hago para evitar que se desvanezca? ¿Cómo hago para tener a Dios muy cerca? When I'm at church, I feel close to God, but then during the week, that feeling seems to fade sometimes. How can I keep that feeling from fading? How can I keep God close? Please help us connect HQ. Great! What would you like me to work on, Captain? You don't want to work in here? Oh, um, I really think I do my best. Best thinking today in the observatory. Okay, well, I'll come with you. We can work together. That could be fun, No! Right? I mean, yes, that could be fun. But I think my brain will need all that space. So how about you work here and I work there and maybe later we can meet up in the observatory after my brain is done using it. Okay. I guess you can work on finding the Bible link, and I'll work on finding the verse link. Perfect! Dot? <laughs> it's a monster! No, Winston, it's just me. Oh, whew. 
Here's the rest of the camping props you asked for. Oh, thanks, Winston. <laughs> you know, uh, I could uh, help you with the tent if you'd like. Oh, that would be great. Maybe while we work, we could watch a Bible story. <laughs> Those vines just reminded me of one that might help Mariana with her question. <laughs> Sounds great. This is a 66 pitch mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's a life of God's the heart in your heart and in your mind. Old Testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement. It's history, his story, whose story, God's story. Jesus said, I am the vine, and you, the people, are the branches. Branch? I'm not a branch. I don't mean like a tree branch. I don't get it. The vine and branches were used by Jesus as an example. It means you are a child of the King. That's Jesus. Really? That's awesome. Does that mean I get to wear a crown? It gets even better than that. Not only are we children of the King, but when we look like Jesus, we will have fruit that sets us apart. Oh yeah, I remember. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Those fruits come from being connected to Jesus, right? Yes, that's exactly right. And Jesus even says that those who remain connected to him will produce fruit. But apart from him, you can do nothing. Kind of like when a light isn't plugged into a wall? Exactly like that. Just like a light cannot function without being plugged in, we cannot function without being connected to Jesus. Jesus loves us so much that he wants to be close to us. Like really close. He wants to be our greatest friend. Really? So how do you get that close to Jesus? By following God's commands and doing things like praying and attending church, we can get close to him and in return, he will get even closer to us. Jesus said that in doing this, we become like the disciples. They were really close to Jesus, like best friend close. And we can be too. We just have to stay connected to God all the time, not just in church. He is the vine and we are the branches. And as long as we remain in him, we will grow much fruit. Vine and branches, huh? So Jesus wants us as close to him as a branch is to its vine. He keeps us spiritually healthy when we stay close to him. And without him, we cannot produce good fruit. So what was it that it said about how to do that? Oh, right. Living like Jesus, praying, and going to church. Okay, so that could help Mariana. The Bible link is John 15, 1 through 5. Bible link acquired. How's the tent coming along? You don't happen to have a chainsaw, do you? I've asked before, and they won't let me have one. <sighs> That's okay. I'll improvise. What kind of plan is this anyway? Leaves of three? Isn't there some rhyme about that? Oh, hey, Dot. How's the Bible link coming along? Great. That's awesome. Well, I was just about to watch the Skip Vision video that I located in the archives when I was trying to find something for the verse link. Would you like to watch it with me? Oh, um, not right now, Captain. Maybe later. Okay. Hey, Winston. Is that you in there? It's Sir Winston, Knight of the Round Ottoman. I'm having a medieval themed birthday party this year. You look great. Thank you. You know, you remind me of a verse. Really? Is it about being strong? Not specifically. Courageous? Not necessarily. Uncomfortable? No, it's about getting close to God. How does me being dressed as a knight make me closer to God? It's not so much the knight part as the metal part. It goes like this. James 4, 8. James 4, 8. 
Come close to God. Come close to God. And God will come close to you. And God will come close to you. I still don't understand what that has to do with me being dressed as a knight. Right. Let me show you. If you draw close to God, God will draw close to you. Wow. That's powerful. I know, right? Let's do it again. Only this time, we'll use... This one! Uh, yeah. uh. That's just what I was looking for. Verse link is James 4, 8. Verse link acquired. Dot is going to love that Skip Vision video. I just wish we could have worked on it together. Graham crackers, chocolate, and marshmallows. Oh, hey Dot, there you are. Where are you going with all of that? Oh, it's a surprise. I've got the Bible verse to show you too, and I'm trying to find the point link. Meet me in the observatory in five minutes. <laughs> okay, you can come in now. Oh. Do you love it? Come on, come on. Dot, I don't understand. I've got it all planned out. We'll eat s'mores and sing songs and tell scary stories and sleep in sleeping bags. It's just what you wanted. Dot, this is all very nice, but what would make you think that this is what I wanted? I saw how happy it made you talking about Luke and Mike camping because they're good friends. And I thought if we went camping, we could become closer friends too. <laughs> That's all very sweet, Dot, and I really appreciate all your hard work, but I don't actually like camping. What? But you said you did. No, I said some people like it. Camping means bugs, and I really, really do not like bugs. Oh, I'm actually just going to, you know, turn this off. Oh, well... If you don't like camping, then how are we going to become better friends? Dot, you don't need all of this to become better friends with me. All you need to do is spend time with me. That's why I wanted us to work together earlier. But I couldn't spend time with you then because I was busy setting this all up. So to get close to you, I just needed to be near you? Right. How do you get to know anyone better? You spend time with them and you grow closer. Get close. Hey, maybe that's a good point link for Mariana. Get close to God. It's simple, but sweet. The point link is get close to God. Point link acquired. Dot, are you all right? Your skin's all red. And itchy, super, super itchy. Uh-oh, leaves of three, let them be. Oh. Right. I couldn't remember the second part. Uh-oh. Poison Ivy! Well, at least we're getting to spend time together. I hope next time it's not so, so itchy of a time. <laughs> Help. Oh no. Come here. I'll get you fixed up too. We just got a message back from Connect HQ. Let's see what they have to say. Hi, Mariana. My name is Dot, and I'm part of Connect HQ. We found an answer for you. The Bible tells us this in the book of James. James 4, 8. Come close to God, and God will come close to you. When you choose to show God that you want to know Him better and be close to Him, He will help you to build a relationship with Him. In the book of John, Jesus tells us that He is the vine and we are the branches. That means when we are connected to Him, He gives us nourishment and keeps us spiritually healthy. When you show you want to be close to Jesus, He comes closer to you and makes your life grow fruit for God. I thought the way to grow my friendship with Captain Ray was with big, exciting activities. But she didn't want anything fancy. She just wanted to spend time with me. 
In the same way, God doesn't want anything big and grand. He just wants us to spend time with Him, to get close to Him. When we choose to follow Jesus, He will draw closer to us, and our relationship with Him will grow. Choose to get close to God. It's not a choice you make once or just at church, but one that is made throughout the day, every day. Thanks for your question, Mariana, and remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? I ask you once again, because I am blessed. I'm fully blessed. You know, like the Bible says, it's in the book of James 4 8. It says, Come close to God, and God will come closer to you. So it's just a simple thing. Like, we don't need to. It's not something that you need to force yourself. It's not something that you need to go through all the trouble and all the, you know, everything. Just like, oh, you want to get close to God. You don't even need to, you know, like, you just have to do those things, which are, you know, you have to pray, study your Bible, and if you give thanks to Him, because this attitude that he has commanded, you know, you just have to love him the way he loves us. Because he said that he is divine and we are the branches. So as long as we are attached to him, you don't need to struggle. And you are already attached to him already. You are already with him because, you know, he said that we are his own. God said that we are his own. So you are his own daughter you are his son so you don't need like for you to talk to your dad or your mom now you don't need to kind of like you know write a letter you know see the secretary or anything let's say you go to your dad office all you just have to do even if his staff doesn't know you or even if a staff doesn't know you all you just have to do is just tell them hi good afternoon my name is little brother and my dad is the ng or my dad is the ng of you know, and I'm like, oh, really? And it's just giving me a call. It's the same thing. Like, you don't need to, you know, you don't need to submit a DNA or anything like that. So, like, uh, what, uh, like, you saw what happened between um, Captain Ryan and Dorothy. So, you know, it's the same thing. You know, for you to be friends with God, for you to get closer to God, is not something that is a big thing. It's just like we are living our everyday life. You know, study your Bible more, pray to Him more. You know, just talk to Him like your friend, like the way you will talk to your teacher, like the way you will talk to your mom, like the way you will talk to your friend. You know, have this uh, communication, um, communication. Uh, movement between all time where you slide down and you just oh god how are you how the day been oh jesus how are you how the day been i have a great time today i went to this place i went to this place i had this is there listening to you so you don't need to struggle yourself you don't need to do like extra for you to get closer to god it's just so simple it's just so simple. Study your Bible. Pray to Him every time, and then you know, communicate your days, communicate everything that is going on with you to Him. You know, just like your journal where you wrote all those things down. Talk to Him in your quiet time. I'm here today, Holy Spirit. I'm here today, Jesus Christ. And this is this is this is this is, this is, this is what is happening with me. He knows what's happening to you, with you, but He still wants to have a relationship with us. And having that relationship with us, we don't have to struggle. You don't have to struggle. So, like the topic of today said, is that come closer. So you need to go closer to God for God to come closer to you. And in the case, in the case you know, when you have to do that, you don't have to struggle. You don't have to, you know, like write a letter or send a message like, oh, I want to be your friend or send a friend request. He's already your friend. He just want to add that relationship with you. So, um, that is all I have to share. And I want you to close your eyes now. Let's pray. Father Lord, we thank you for the word that you bring to us. You have brought to us today. We thank you for the lesson. And we glorify your holy name because your presence is here with us. And we thank you because you have given us the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding. Because what we are 
development today is going to be a fruit that is going to grow in our life. It's not going to be the fruit that is not, it's not going to be the seed that falls by the side road, but it's going, this one is going to fall into the fertile line in our life and it's going to grow and it's going to, and we are through that we are going to influence the rest of the world with your Lord. Father Lord, we glorify your holy name. As we are going to the Spirit of the Lord, go with us, be with us, protect us, bless us, tell your faith on your own. Lord, we glorify you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. This is the end of our class today. And I'm so happy that you are blessed, that I'm blessed. So I will see you next Sunday. Bye. Way. I'm going to play football with my friends and there's nothing you can Silence! You think this is funny, eh? You can get the deadly coronavirus. The gorilla virus? No, the coronavirus. Do you know what will happen when you do? Do you? Do you? Ha! Huh, what will happen? You will bring the coronavirus home and then infect everyone. Mommy will be sick, no more jollof rice. Ha! Huh? Daddy will be sick, no more going out to see movies. Oh no! Not the movies! No! Even worse, the government will come and take mommy and daddy away. Ah, uh, you're just making it up. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. See for yourself. Our hands with soap and water so we can prevent it from spreading. Boo! <laughs> stay home, stay safe from all of us at Ant Hill Studios.